Let us take you on a journey through Colorado and show you the top 6 restaurants in Denver. We will show you the oldest restaurant and the best burger joint, the funnest restaurant to take your family. Best Italian restaurant, a diner that is open 24-7 food, and never gets old, or if you want to check out an upscale restaurant, stay watching till the end. But, before we do this, we are going to reveal the history behind Denver, Colorado. It started when the Native Americans inhabited the Rocky Mountains 13,000 years ago. There are artifacts at the Lindenmeyer site they are dating approximately 9200 BCE 1000 BCE. On the eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains was a migration route for the early people. In Spanish, Colorado, means, ruddy, which is the color of the red sandstones. The territory of Colorado was established and organized in 1861 on February 28. U.S. President Ulysses S. Grant signed Proclamation 230 on August 1, 1876. They admitted Colorado to the Union as the 38th state of the USA. The two famous nicknames yeah. will be, Colorful Colorado, and, Centennial State. Because of the signing of the United States Declaration of Independence. Now you know the history of Colorado. We can show you number 6 on the countdown list. Number 6 will be the, Buckhorn Exchange. The Buckhorn Exchange will be the oldest operating restaurant in the United States, claims Fox News of Denver. American Scott Henry H. founded the Buckhorn Exchange on November 17, 1893, a saloon called the Rio Grande Exchange. The saloon was dedicated and catered to the gamblers, railroaders, miners, cattlemen, businesses, and lastly Indian chiefs. The Buckhorn Exchange is a fantastic steakhouse, and is known for its Rocky Mountain oysters. There are over, 500, trophy heads and mounted animals hanging around in the Buckhorn Exchange do not be afraid. And one that stands out mainly is a mounted head of an, African Cape Buffalo, that Teddy Roosevelt shot. Number 5 on the countdown list will be the best burger joint in Denver, the Cherry Cricket. The Cherry Cricket was founded and established in 1945, consistently ranked and rated number 1. It did earn the nickname, Black Sheep of Sheep of Cherry Creek. Accordingly to UncoverColorado.com, it was named this, due to its low-key, rowdy ambiance. Cherry Creek Cricket was one of the first sports bars and award-winning burgers on Blake Street. They opened two, and the second cricket spot was bought out by Lloyd Page and named turned it into the Cherry Cricket. She was initially called the, Mary Zimmerman, in 1950. Mary, she also lived there. In 2016 there was a fire in the kitchen just before Thanksgiving Day. It was built back up and still thriving strong. The Cherry Cricket featured in travel channels, such, such as, Man Vers Food, and, The Food Channel. Cherry Cricket cooks a wide range of burgers, even bison. The governor, John Hickenlooper, formally opened, Wine Coop. This is Colorado's first group on the countdown will be Casa Bonita's. Parents say this is the funnest restaurant to take your family to Denver. Casa Bonita is Spanish for, pretty house, there is a chain of them. They are Mexican-themed entertainment. Casa Bonita originated in Oklahoma City. This is the last one standing in Lakewood, Colorado. They are known for their sopapilla and waterfall with cliff divers and authentic Mexican food. Casa Bonita has a small puppet theater, a haunted tunnel called, Black Bart's Cave. There are no more cliff divers, and you can only take tours now as of 2020. COVID-19 creating the pandemic, State Colorado forced all restaurants to close in March. Number 3 on the countdown is Gaetano's Excelente Cucina and Cocktails. Gaetano's is the best Italian restaurant. Gaetano's was opened in 1947 by the Smeldons, Eugene, Clyde, and Clarence Smeldon. The mob family, Ralph and Mamie Smeldon owned the 36th Avenue Cafe located on Tejon, the son's parents. This restaurant is over 60 years old with lots of untold history. Clyde renamed it Gaetano's and moved it to 38th and Tejon. In the 40s and 50s, there was a significant migration of Italians to North Denver, and the Smaldons were a big help for other families in the neighborhood. Not letting them going hungry. In 2005 Gaetano's was purchased by Winecoop and Breckenridge's restaurant group. Update and preserve the authenticity of the famous story behind this building. Number 2 on the countdown will be The Breakfast King. This restaurant is open 24-7. In Westward, The Breakfast King, has record announced as the 59th, best breakfast in America. And number 507 on TripAdvisor, they recommend that you stop at when you arrive at your destination. It has grown fast and growing to be more and more popular the more others eat there. Number 1 on the countdown will be the, Brown Palace Hotel & Spa, it opened on August 12, 1892. 
Henry Cordes Brown was a carpenter real estate and entrepreneur from Ohio who came to Denver in 1860. He traveled from Nebraska, California, Peru, St. Louis. Ed Brook designed the Brown Palace with red sandstone that enclosed the atrium lobby, second for the longest operating hotel running in Denver. The Brown Palace and Spa is the second fireproof buildings in America. It costs over a whopping $2 million, today that would be $56 million, on labor and another $400,000 on furniture. There are 400 rooms, and today there are only 241 rooms that they rent out. Four restaurants enclave the Brown Palace, the Ellingtons, Ship's Tavern, Churchill Bar, and Palace Arms. The Brown Palace is famous for having the national grand champion Steers and VIP guest president Dwight D. Eisenhower used it as his presidential campaign headquarters. The Rolling Stones stayed here, the Beatles crashed in their 1964 tour. Many musicians Bruce Springsteen, Taylor Swift, and Metallica were all VIP guests at the Brown Palace. We are glad to share the top 6 restaurants in Denver, Colorado. Our next video will be the top 6 places to have fun in Denver, Colorado. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to receive these videos each week.